Okay, today I am in Dadeville for the first time in 13 years. Okay, I got a small privy poked out here and another one right here. So let's open them up and hope for the best. Okay, I'm gonna put a half deep and I found an old hinge and some kind of a metal wheel. So we're definitely in a privy. Okay, the first bottle is hmm machine made but uh oh, it's got the owens illinois mark that means it's probably from the late 30s or early 40s okay what have we got here it's another thing that looks like it's from the 40s but before that i just pulled out this that looks like a bitters it's got panels and it's amber but with that on the bottom, it looks like it's from about 1919. But still, it could be in the Boss Bitters. I don't know why that would be with bottles that are 20 years newer. Now, this is interesting. It's an aqua beer neck. I'm pretty sure it's blown in a mold, so that's early 1900s right there. There are a lot of rocks in this hall. And this one's a fairly big one. I don't know if I can lift it with one hand. It's about a 25 pounder. And that one was a 50 pounder. And there was a bunch of other ones. But I just found this. A paneled medicine bottle. It's got to be early 1900s. I'm afraid all the bottles are going to be broken because there's so many giant rocks. Heavy rocks. But here's another piece of a bottle that's blown in a mold. So that's got to be early 1900s as well. I don't know if I've dug a hole with this many rocks in it. And big pieces of tin. They take a lot of time to get out of there. Okay, hopefully there'll be one or two whole bottles in here. Okay, we found a piece of brown or amber glass and a plate chard. But the first bottle is actually here. How old is it? It's not embossed. And it's machine made. But it's an old one. It's definitely about 1920. Oh my god. I got excited at first. I saw this big square cobalt bottle. But then I looked at the top. Well, it's got the three nubs on the top, so that's pretty screw top. It's got to be about 1917 to 1919. So, it's a decent age. It's over 100 years old anyway. I started to rub this off and I thought, oh my god, it's an embossed pharmacy. Well, it is of sorts. The Rexall store. From 1925 to 35. The second intact bottle... What? It's a Vaseline, obviously, but it doesn't even have any embossing on it. That is odd. Mm. And I just found this. It has embossing on it. I've never found one that's actually embossed. Let's see if we can read it. Black and white? That's interesting. Anyway, it goes to this piece that we found an hour earlier. So, that's good. So maybe I can get five or six dollars out of that because of the fact that it's embossed. Well, I have reached the bottom and I've been tunneling out the walls. It's only about a two and a half foot deep hole. Three feet at the most. But it goes this way a bit and goes that way a bit. It goes that way a long ways and I still haven't hit the wall. And where this other hole is, right there, I'm thinking it's part of this hole. Because this hole goes at least a foot that way. So, I don't know if I'll be able to dig it all. I don't even know if I want to because it's all broken. And it's a little bit new because it's 20s, 30s, and 40s. And the third intact bottle... It's a screw top one and it looks really late. 
Okay, I found a beer neck. It is machine made, but it looks like it's from 1914 to 1920 anyway. And here's some more pieces to that cobalt square bottle. I usually don't pay attention to this kind of stuff, but since it's such slim pickings today, uh, I guess I'll mention it. And uh, another Vaseline bottle with no embossing. Well, that's about it. I mean, it tunnels over a foot in each direction, and I just can't reach under there any farther. I mean, I got... I did go about a foot and a half under this way. So, I think that's it for this one. It's almost getting dark. So I will continue tomorrow. Well, we have a guest. It looks like a pit bull, but at least it's a friendly one. Don't put my dirty hands in your mouth. Okay, it's the next day. I decided I'm going to dig this side after all because I don't feel rocks on this side when I probe it. So it should be easy to dig it to the 2 foot 2 inch level. On second thought, I think I'll skip that one because there's so many roots in the way. But I found another one of these iron toilets, very well hidden. And there's actually bottles down there. Okay, I'm exploring this triple wide lot and I have located another privy. This one feels normal. I think it's going to be good. Definitely going to be better than that last one. Okay, the first bottle is showing up at the two and a half foot level. Great. Another 1940s hole. I don't know what it is with me, but I always attract 1940s holes. And here's yet another one. And remember, I'm digging off a 1909 map. And here's another bottle. They're starting to come out now. Hmm, I just don't believe it. Okay, we finally found one that's worth keeping. It's a Hormel jar. It's a food jar, but in the fruit jar book. Because it takes a fruit jar lid. So it says Hormel something or other. It's worth at least five dollars. But I think I figured it out. I finally figured it out after all these years. I always dig 40s holes because they're really not. They're really 1907 holes. They were cleaned out a thousand times and, and not cleaned out in 1947 because they were switching over to a toilet inside. So that's what I figured out. That's why I found a thousand 40s privies because they're really not 40s privies. Because if it was, if this was a 1909 property, then there would be five or six privies. But the fact is, I keep only finding one, and it's a new one. But it's really the old one that was used for 40 years or more, and that's that. Used for 40 years and cleaned out once a month. Okay, I got a square one. Uh, it's also a whiskey. It's a rock and rye. 
That's what they look like. They got a fat, bulging, twisty neck. But look at all these bottles I found. I didn't want to bore you with me showing them every time I found one because they're so 1946 and 47 whiskeys. Okay, here's one of these. Paul Jones, I think it is. I find these in North Carolina. Well, heck, I find them all over the country. But I forgot they have these. These are actually a pretty nice bottle. It says Montgomery, Alabama on it. it has a rose on it. it. Says La Rosa. So it's a decent bottle. And I just pulled out another one. But it's a flask. Nice patina on it. Does it say the same thing? Mmm, it's different. I've never seen one like it. Puerto Rican. I don't know what that is, but uh, it's interesting for sure. Okay, let's keep on going. I'm pretty much at the bottom, but I got plenty of tunneling to do. Well, that's most of them. Plenty of bottles came out of that hole. But only four of them worth keeping, I think. So back these go. Yeah, the Hormel jar is definitely worth keeping. We actually got a non-whiskey bottle. But most of these are whiskeys. There's a mayonnaise jar and a ketchup. And what appears to be an embalming fluid, but no embossing again. I don't know what's up with those. So when somebody probes this in the future, they will hit a ton of glass. Slim pickings. I could have found more stuff a half a mile down the road because there's a 1940s landfill down there. And I could have found soda bottles and a, probably a milk bottle and all kinds of bottles. But no, I just had to dig junk whiskeys.